Yeah. Hello guys, hope you're all alright. If you remember last time we come to the northwest, we visited Carnforth Station and we had a good look around the station, but if you remember rightly, the Museum and Heritage Centre was closed. Today we're back, it's probably because it's high summer now, well it doesn't feel like it does it, but it's open now, so if you'd like to come with me, I'll take you on a tour around it and see what we missed last time. Thank you very much. <laughs> Quiz question for my subscribers. Who are they? Oh, it's one of my favourites there. Answers down below. If you know them, I'm sure a lot of you guys do. Marilyn Monroe, one of my favourites. Oh, look at this poster down the bottom. Some favourite films on there, Mad Max, Westworld, The Omen, absolutely wonderful stuff. <laughs> Up above the streets and houses. This place is absolutely packed with fantastic stuff. Oh, Skegness, another favourite place of ours, painting we've been to. One for James there. They've even got a little cinema that plays the film on loop, Reef Encounter, so you can even sit here and watch the film. Let's have a sit and watch the film. Knowing me, I'll probably have a kip. Some nice VHS editions of the film. Oh. A cassette version. Another VHS. Are you enjoying the film, madam? <laughs> A captivated audience. <laughs> Some more VHS copies of the film up here. Had quite a few different releases over the years. Uh, David Lean's Oliver Twist. I don't think I've actually seen his version. But what I have seen is This Happy Breed. That's a fantastic film. John Mills, I recommend to everybody. I've got the Blu-ray at home. Got some great information about Lean in here and his career in which we serve fantastic Second World War film. This Happy Breed, I was talking about earlier. Great Expectations, and another twist I'm yet to see. Uh, the Sound Barrier, I've seen that was a great film. Some of Madness, not seen, Catherine Hepburn. Bridge on the River Kwai, absolute classic. Along with Lawrence of Arabia, absolute fantastic film. 
Dr. Shivago, brilliant again. Passage to India. Mrs. B there. <laughs> This place is an absolute treasure trove of information on Lean's career. If ever you're in the northwest, pop into here and have a look round. Anything interesting there, madam? Over here, tells you a bit about each different film. Such a long and varied film, great career. Wow, I didn't know about this. The film that never got released. Nostromo. Look at the cast that would have been. Brando, Paul Schofield, Anthony Quinn, Pete Rotor, Christopher Lambert, Dennis Quaid, Isabella Rossellini. Wow, what could have been, eh? They show a documentary about the life of Lean and his works. When I say spectacle, I think you, I, I don't mean just put Absolutely wonderful place. A load of spectacle and uh, expected successful public, of course you've got to have a foreground action. And it's awfully easy for critics to say, oh, the action's in the background swamp. It's a part of the script from Nostromo, so you can have a look at your leisure, pause if you wish. Might we get some sort of brief, brief encounter, if you like, of what it would have been like? You know it would have been a classic, though. Just one page of the script. Oh, there's some more, actually. I wonder if it's the whole script. There's a few pages from it, I think. Signed photograph there, Celia. Oh, this is a photograph of Henrietta Vincent, who played Celia Johnson's daughter, Margaret, when she was just eight years old in the film. What memories she must have. Poppy, apparently she's one of the main attractions of the Heritage Centre. <laughs> she's a regular incumbent, I've been told. And she really is a lovely little doggy. <laughs> Here's Nathan looking very film noir. He rocks it quite well, I think. They've got a really 
fantastic model of them here, filming the film. Look at the detail that's gone into them little figures there. They've got the film crew there and Trevor and Celia at the carriage window and the steam train. The very nice man who works in the Heritage Centre here is informed me in a few minutes they've got a steam train pulling through so I'll try and get some... Oh, let me jump that and pray come by. <laughs> they've got a steam train coming through in a few minutes apparently. I'll try and get some footage of that for you guys. Originally, each of the main operating companies had their own location at Carver. In 1944, the then state of the art motive depot was completed to replace the two remaining shares. The kids have found some puzzles to do. The giant holding town and dash disposal plant were built in the reinforced concrete. It's about their level, I think. <laughs> I think we're on the way. I can see some steam up there. Poppy's come to investigate too. Oh, they're doing that. Wow, you can hear it coming now. So welcome back and we've come across the gift room and it's a wonderful little gift room. Uh, I've just bought myself a brief encounter mug like I had a few years ago which I unfortunately broke which upset me very much so now I'm a happy bunny that I've got my mug back and this shop sells everything pertaining to brief encounter and David Lean from postcards there, got fridge magnets, nice little tote bag with the clock on which sadly still hasn't made an appearance some artwork there most of my followers themselves mainly physical media guys so there's a good David Lean section of DVDs a box set there and DVDs of all his film we'll have to get him to get some Blu-rays in guys won't we but nice to see all the different films there. Absolutely wonderful stuff. And Peter, the man who works in the gift shop, is a wonderful man and he's a fountain of knowledge. So if you come along this way, say hi to Peter and if there's anything you want to know, particularly on a Saturday, Peter's here. And he says the, the most questions you get is where's the clock and where's the toilets? Right. Thank you, Peter. You've been a great host. Found another hidden little room. This wonderful trove, just little rooms you come across. All about steam trains. Some levers there. There's video showing how they converted the refreshment room back to how it was in the film. Which has today been accurately restored. 
Let her for that one and a half million pounds was spent restoring the station and fitting out the new visitor centre. So that will do us today here at Colpers Carpet Station. When we came in March, I always felt there was something missing with my video when the Heritage Centre was closed. So I'm really, really pleased that it's open today and I can finally get to show you guys around. I'm sure you'll all agree with me, it's just a wonderful place. If you're ever up here in the North West, pop into Carnford, give them a visit, give them some support. It's a lovely place and great guys here will tell you everything you need to know. I'm off home to try out my new one. Goodbye guys.